Okay guys, welcome to this Science Sunday, or Smash It Sunday, however you would like to call it. But in this little cocktail making segment, this is where we smash some shit, see what it looks like on the inside, chop up some crap, and throw it all in the tub together. So who's ready? I'm excited for this one, because this is not a bath bomb that I like. <laughs> it stinks to me, it's okay, but I don't like the way it smells. Uh, but the inside, was beautiful when I set it off, so I want to see what it looks like. Weapons of mass destruction. El Hammer, covered in tinfoil because it's rusty and gross. A very sharp knife, probably to lose a finger. A crying baby because he just cries. <laughs> we also have my last chunk of Santa fun out of that roll. There's three other rolls. <laughs> we also are going to be using the Witch's Bowl Bubble Bar, which I have never demoed on its own for you guys, so we're going to chop his ass off. <gasps> What's on my hand? Oh my god, Nail Logical, coming for you. I actually got this to work last night. It took all night. It's not perfect, but I chromed my hand. I'm proud. Be proud for me. Okay. Our bath bomb feature is going to be the Mistletoe, the Christmas edition from Lush. And some party on shower jelly. That's leaking. Ew. <laughs> I hate when the shower jellies leak, but they do it, so you just gotta deal with it. Let's go ahead and take mistletoe out. Okay, I'm running out of lush bath bombs that when you crack them open have some, some sort of in-bed or something on the inside to make them look good. And this one is powdery to begin with. So let's try and not get it all over my hands. I hate the way the bath bombs feel if your nails scratch them or if you cut them or anything like that. All right, so I'll take a good look at it. This bath bomb is the same scent. There you go, just like the real YouTubers do. It's the same scent as the Silky Underwear Dusting Powder. Same exact fragrance. Turquoisey, white and pink, very pretty. In the water when it goes off, it's absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. So, let me fix you guys a little bit, get you guys all straightened out, and let's smash a bomb. First thing we're gonna do is smash them. I still have a uh, friggin' party on jelly. I keep calling it joy with jelly for some reason. Party on jelly all over my hands. One, two, nothing. Wow. I found a robin's egg outside. You found a robin's egg? Oh, <gasps> let me see. It's not a full robin's egg. No. It's chocolate, isn't it? No, it's feathers inside. Are you serious? Richie found a robin's egg. It's a cracked open robin's egg, so there's a robin running around somewhere naked. Look at that, ain't that pretty? Look! That's really pretty! I love the way that looks. Of course, Boog is fine all morning long, and then as soon as I want to film, he's cranky. It's his bath time now. It's time for him to have his early Sunday bath, to be pampered, and to relax, because he is the lush baby. Um, oh wow, even the hammer still has some on it. <laughs> Let's take that off. That's what I hate. You feel, see that powdery feeling all over your hands? I hate it. And the citric acid, if you have a nick or a cut on your cuticles, will burn the fuck out of you. So if you're going to try and attempt to do this on your own, remember those things. All right, so first thing we got going here is our bath bomb, which smells kind of nice right now. It doesn't stink from what I previously remember in the tub. I actually kind of am enjoying the scent right now, shockingly. So, we're going to move Bath Bomb along this way. And I'm just going to use this postal thingy here to chop up the rest of my shit. Let's go ahead and let's go with Witch's Bowl. Witch's Bowl Bubble Bar is kind of a spicy-ish scent. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. See all the greenery in it? I believe it has a star anise in it. Yep, there it is. It's very um, spicy type. It's a Halloween product, obviously, which is bowl. Um, but it's it's kind of, see, look, here is the little things that are all in it. These are the star anise, the spice. It's If you're into spicy type scents, if, yeah, if you like scents like uh, 93,000 Miles, which is, I'm trying to think of a regular line item that would be close to, um, it's similar to that. Really nice, really like it. Kind of, you remember Holly Go Lightly? 
kind of similar to the to the line of the Holly Go Lightly, very spicyish type fragrance. I happen to like it. Um, I do not believe Lush uses a vanilla stabilizer, so if there's any kind of vanilla in the fragrance, it's going to change the color. This is originally a dark purple, and it's pretty. It's got a little you know sparkly to it and everything, but originally it is a dark purple, and within a week it turned a hot pink color. So this is what we got, guys. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and we are gonna chop this bad boy up. Take out our phalange cutter here, cause one of these days, y'all are gonna be calling 911 for me. See all the stuff on the inside? It's loaded with stuff, loaded. So I'm kinda happy to be putting this one into the strainer because there's so much crap in it. I don't even know what the hell this is in here. Could it be... See it? It's it's different types of spices. Almost to me it looks like a chocolate chip, you know? But it's soft, like a date or a raisin or something like that, you know? Let's go ahead and chop it up. Take a few more sneaky peeks at it. And drop it into Bob the Strainer. Now, if you want to know how to store your kitchen products, don't do what I do. Do what I say. <laughs> uh, what you're going to do is when you get your kitchen product, you are going to remove the tag on it that states, you know, peel it off gently, that states what kind of product it is and what day it was made so you know how, how long its life will be before it's yucky and you don't want to use it or before it grows a mold or something of that sort because they, they will mold. Look, this looks like a raisin here. I think this may be a raisin. Is that a raisin? I think that's a raisin. Once again, Lush wants me to wash my ass with fruit. Okay. <laughs> I'm not a fan of scrubbing my butt with fruit. But if you're going to infuse, you know, some sort of fruit into an oil or something of that, I'm okay with that. But I don't want to take the actual piece of fruit and scrub my butt with it. That's why when I get Sultana soap, I cut off the fruit right off rib. <laughs> I like ordering from the UK because they don't send it to you with the fruit all on top like, like the US does. Okay, so here is our pretty pink bubble bar, which is supposed to be purple. Let me continue telling you how to store these bad boys. What you're going to do is when you get your Lush Kitchen wrappy thing, take off your sticker. They will, most of them will just peel right off, or you can tape them onto the bag. You're going to jump on, please just, just get it off. Any way you can get it off, right? You want to keep this, because it's got all your info on it. What it is, what's in it, God forbid you have an allergic reaction to something, anything, which they're, they're, pretty natural products. There's not really much of anything in here that you could have an allergy to unless you individually have an allergy to, you know, the, the dates or raisins or something of that sort. Now, I have a massive raisin and grape allergy, but bathing in it, I do not have a problem. A problem. Um, star anise, you could have an allergy to that. You could have an allergy to the peppermint oil. Anything. Anything you could have an allergy to. So you want to hold on to this. And you want to jump on Etsy or any site, Uline, Paper Mart, any site, and order yourself. Well, I would say go at an Etsy shop. I use Mind the Gap. or No, Mind the Wrap. Mind the Wrap is a store that I use when I only need a few of these items. But you're going to get polypropylene silo bags. And the store on Etsy that I like to use is called Mind the Wrap. And that's just if I need to get a few little bags just to package some Lush in. The bags will come looking similar to this. You're going to take it out of this paper. Put it inside this bag. You're going to either, whichever ones you get, whether you're going to ziplock it closed, or you're going to have a little piece of tape that tapes it closed. You know, it's a little, like, you peel off the thingy and there's a sticky part on it. You're going to fold it over, like so, and you're going to stick your thing on it. And the polypropylene silo bag is going to keep your fragrance oils from escaping your product and keep your product fresher. Then you're going to take your product and you're going to put it into, say, a bin. Um, yeah, let me show you mine. Similar to dark, something dark like that. Those are my Lush bins right now. All of my Lush is in those and it is stacked pretty damn high. Um, and the rest of my other stuff is in the showcase in my bedroom. But you're going to put something, you're going to put it into a dark kind of bin, or you're going to take a clear bin that you can get from the dollar store or anywhere, and you're going to shove it, say, in your closet or underneath your bed. Keep it out of direct sunlight, and your colors won't fade too fast. Put it that way. Because Lush doesn't use many um, vanilla stabilizer type agents, then 
your color is going to fade, but you can hold on to it as long as possible by getting it out of any kind of sunlight or direct light that will save it. Okay, moving on along, moving on along. We need to chop up some of my Santa Fun. Santa Fun is the Lily Savants type fragrance, um, which smells amazing. This one came in black, white, gold, and red in order to make Santa. So Santa Fun is being chopped. Fun is amazing to make a bubble bath. It is so cool. I love this stuff. You can play with it. You can make little creatures out of it. You can melt it up in your bubbles. You can wash your hair with it. You can wash your laundry with it. There's so many different uses for fun. And if you don't want to commit to buying a roll of fun, Lush is more than happy when you place your orders to send you a sample of fun. All you got to do is watch my video, How to Get Your Free Samples When Ordering from Lush. I have two videos up, one updated more than the next, <laughs> and uh, I teach you how to ask for your samples when you're placing your order, and ask for a sample of fun, and they will send you a little chunk of fun, which you can just use in a cocktail, or you can just play with it, do whatever you want with it, it's your fun. Have fun with it, that's the whole point. I happen to love fun. Uh, blue, pink, and red are my favorites, just for the regular line fun. Absolute most favorites. Party on Shower Jelly. Party on Shower Jelly has kind of a almost medicinally type fragrance to it. It's it's not a ugh, it's not my favorite smell. If I'm not feeling well, then I love it. Um, I do have a video where I chop this all up for you guys, among a bunch of other jelly choppings. But it looks kind of like a neon highlighter yellow. Um, it doesn't really glow or anything like that. It's just jelly. That's all. But it's fun, and that kind of medicinally smell, I didn't like it at first. Now, I love it. I don't know why, but it smells like a cleaning product, licorice, and something else. <laughs> That's what it smells like. But I love it now. I absolutely adore it. I don't know why I fell so in love with it, but I did. And you're just going to take your jelly, and you're going to chop up a couple of little cubes. You do not need to use a lot of jelly. I will actually post up a video on how to have a bubble bath with just using a few little chunks of jelly because sometimes I will just take my twilight jelly put about four maybe five cubes of like this size into it and that'll be Boog's bath and you'll see how many bubbles I actually do get out of that little bit of jelly jelly is extremely versatile my famous statement of do not fear the jelly don't fear the jelly you want to try the jelly it is so versatile it is so cool you can wash your hair in it. You can wash your laundry in it. You can make a bubble bath out of it. You can shove it inside of your loofah. Change your loofah, it's out every 30 days. They do grow bacteria. You can shove it inside of your loofah and fluffy it all up and make it very frothy and bubbly and use it like that. You can stick it in the freezer and wash your body with it from the freezer just holding it in your hand. You don't have to chop it up. There's so many different things you can do with a shower jelly. It is so cool, so versatile, so amazing. And you can have a lot of fun with it. So do not fear the jelly. And if you guys want to see more videos on using fun on its own or using shower jelly on its own, leave it in the comments down below and I will be more than happy to redo those videos. I do have those videos on this channel, but they are kind of outdated now because it's been a year that we've been doing this. So I will update them if that's something you feel you need. If you want to see that, you want to learn a little bit more on how to use these products solely on their own to make the most of it, I'm all for showing it to you. Just leave it in the comments down below and let me know. Okay, guys, you are going to go on a brief pause. Everybody is going to go into Bob the Strainer. I put everybody into this first, except for the bath bombs. Those I'll just throw in. And then I move my napkin out and hold it underneath the water. The best way if you want to try this at home. Okay, guys, I'm going to load everybody into Bob the Strainer. And then we're going to head over to the bathroom and take a bath. So I'll be right back. I want you guys to know, unfortunately, because I have dyed my hair so many odd, deep colors in the past week, my tub is tinted a little blue, and it's going to take a little bit to get it out, you know, a little bleaching over and over and over again to get it clean because it is a kind of fiberglassy tub. So without further ado, let's drop in our mistletoe bath ball, and then we'll make some bubbles. Now, I don't have much water in here at all because I want to make bubbles. 
When you set this off when it's whole, it's beautiful. Very pretty. Very nice. Love it. I'm just not a massive fan of the silky underwear scent because it has a an odd kind of coconutty smell to it. And it's just not a smell that I I love. So it's not all that great for me. But it's beautiful just to watch it go off. It really is a stunning show. And it fizzes out funny. I don't know. It's not a foamer. It's not a fizzer. It's like a... It's a both. So it does fizz out a little funny. When it's whole, you'll see like the foaming on the outside first. And I actually have a demonstration of it on the channel if you'd like to see. You'll see the foaming of it come off first, but then it very quickly does that weird kind of fizzle out. And I don't know. I really like the way it looks when it's going off. It's very, very beautiful. Like, this is a pretty bomb. I wish they would have created it with a better scent. But of course, you know how it goes. Can you hear it going off? Hold on, let me attempt to shut the door a little so you can hear it. I love listening to them. They're beautiful. My tripod's in the way. I'm not using my tripod right now. I never use my tripod to film a bath. But for everything else, I love it. You hear it? It's almost... I don't know, what do they call that? Tantric, maybe? Where you get caught in a trance, just listening and watching and watching it bubble and how beautiful it is. It's it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. It's beautiful to listen to, beautiful to watch, beautiful to see the cold colors unfold. I will tell you, this was an extremely moisturizing bath bomb. Um, I've used about four of them, just for the, the moisture, solely. <laughs> um, and I really, I did enjoy them, I just did not enjoy the scent too much. I'm not a big fan of that silky underwear scent. There goes my battery pack. <laughs> I'm a mess this morning, guys. I'm not a huge fan of the silky underwear scent due to it having that kind of, I don't know, almost fake coconut type scent to it. I just don't like it. I don't know. Ugh, not my thing. Okay, guys. So, um, we are going to ask you to remove your earbuds. When I turn this water on, it is going to be pretty loud and obnoxious, and it may blow your eardrums a little bit. So, either lower your volume a little or yank your earbuds, and I'm going to turn the water on. Give me one second, and we will... Pull out our paper towel and start making our bubbles for our Smash It Sunday cocktail. We do! Now remember in here we have the Party On Shower Jelly, Santa Fun, and also the Witch's Bowl bubble bar. So we have a lot of bubbling people in here. And remember what I said, if you would like to see a bubble bath created from shower jelly, or if you'd like to see a bubble bath created from just simply fun, let me know and I will gladly demonstrate that in the comments. Uh, in, let me know in the comment section, I'll gladly demonstrate that for you. Um, and if you just want to go back in the old videos and watch the ones that I do have up already, knock yourself out. But if you'd like a more updated, just tell me. Lots of bubbles there. And already we have a pretty, pretty, pretty tub. I can't remember the last time I took a bath without a pretty color in it. Or a color. Let's just say a color. Because sometimes the bath colors are boo-boo colored. I'm trying to hold off on the cursing a little bit. Boogie is starting to repeat things. I hope everybody had fun last night on the live stream. I had a good time with you guys. I always do. I love doing the Saturday Night Summer Party live streams really do. I failed miserably at trying to do the hollow nails. It just didn't work. I don't know what happened. But I eventually did get all my nails hollowed. And it worked out. <laughs> so it did work out in the end. It just took me forever to do it. Okay, so you want to see what's in the strainer right now? It's all that, that crap that was inside the witch's bowl. And some fun and some jelly. Now, I will tell you guys to always melt down your fun and jelly in very hot water because it's an easier melt. <laughs> what happens when you put something in really hot water? It's going to melt. Not really, not really too... <laughs> You're not going to be an Einstein to know that one. 
but there was so much stuff inside that bubble bar. So if you don't like a bubble bar to have a lot of stuff in it, like if you've ever used the Pleasure Dough bubble bar from Lush, ew, it has all kinds of stuff in it. Or if you've ever done the Big Blue Bath Bomb, that has seaweed in it. So if you don't want all that in your tub, or the Titsy Topsy Bomb that has the rose petals and things in it, just put it in the strainer. Or you can put it in a nylon stocking, and you know, if it's a bath bomb, if it's a bath bomb, you can put it in a nylon stocking and drop it in your water, and it will catch all the little pieces. And if you can't afford a nylon stocking, which is like a dollar from the Dollar Tree or anything like that, go to Payless. Try on some shoes. They have them in a little box there. They'll give them to you for free. Get as many as you like. <laughs> and then come home and play with your expensive Lush. <laughs> Lush, if you order through the UK, is really not all that expensive. Um, shipping can be a bit of a bitch if you're trying to order, like, numerous products from that week of the kitchen. Bearded ladies. <laughs> been asking for that forever. I've been asking for Bearded Lady forever. They finally come out with it. When I have spent all my money on my bills and, you know, re-upping Pinky's, uh, Pinky supplies for the wax and the whole nine, like, all of it has been spent. And then they come out with the bubble bar that I have been begging them for for two years. Anywho, <laughs> moving on. If you're trying to get multiple items from the kitchen, because they put them out on different days just to piss us off, just, you know, just playing. The shipping can get to you. It can be a little costly and a little bit of an annoyance. But if you're just ordering, like, regular line items or one item that you want from the kitchen or something of that sort, it's actually a lot cheaper to order from the UK than it is to order from the US sites. Um, I don't know why it's cheaper for us, but it is. So, I order from the UK anytime I order Lush. The only time that I did order from the US was Halloween because they got it first and I wanted to get it. I was, the Halloween items are my favorite items. I love the Lush Halloween items more than I love Christmas. Uh, magic Wand Soap. Oh, fell in love with it. I love Magic Wand Soap. Okay, so everybody is pretty much done in the, the bubble bar portion here. So, oh, wait, no, there's some Santa Fun left. And we have our bubbles. Which, if you want to build up more bubble, all you do is stick your hands in there and swish it around, or build your water pressure up a little bit better. I have really bad water pressure right now in this house, but when I go, when I move, I am going to make sure that we move to a place that has amazing water pressure. Now, here's all the stuff that I'm left with, which is all the dates and sticks and twigs and bullshit. See the little, uh, what's the stuff you stick inside a ham when you cook a ham? Cloves. See the cloves there? Cloves, cranberries, that's what's in the witch's bowl. And we can put Bob down there for now. And of course, I cannot use that strainer now to move my bubbles. And my hand is going to burn in the water because it's been all hot. But all you really got to do is swish your hands around in the water or try and do something like this to build yourself up a little bit of water pressure. If you have the shower thingy on top like I do, it's kind of tough to do that now. But there is a way to build up your water pressure and build yourself bubbles. You can go in and, and swoosh like crazy. You can do it. It might take you a little bit, but you will do it and you will get lots of bubbles. Let's check out our watercolor real quick while we're waiting for some more bubbles to build. Alright, so on Please's Punch with the way the watercolor came out. It's very pretty. It's pinky. Feminine looking. Makes you think soft and warm. You know why most prisons and uh, insane asylums are painted in pink because it is a psychological trick to at ease the mind. So pink colors, that is why most psychiatric wards are painted in light colors. Some, most of them are pink and some prisons are pink to keep the people calm and relaxed. Because how can you be angry with pink walls? <laughs> no, but it seriously is a scientific fact that that is the reason of painting insane asylums and uh, prisons pink. Because certain colors put you in certain mindsets and moods. All right, so we have pretty much gone on about um, 25 minutes of making this Sunday cocktail. For those of you who did not want to watch that long, I apologize. I didn't realize this was gonna take forever. And uh, yeah, we've been here for a while now. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna shut this down and we will see our little bubbles and our water going on here. Now, that's all you gotta do. And you build yourself up an immense amount of bubbles. If you are fortunate enough to have jets in your bathtub, 
all you do is push the button and you don't need to use an entire bubble bar ever. You never need to use an entire bubble bar. You can use a half of one, a quarter of one. If you don't like an extreme amount of, wow, the moisture is incredible. If you don't like an extreme amount of bubbles, then you don't need to use it. It's your money, your preference, do whatever you want. I, for one, show you what these things can do. So that's why I like to use them in a whole. So you can see what it looks like as a whole and then make your, you know, your opinions and your decisions on whether or not you want to purchase. So here it is. That was our kind of weird Christmassy, Halloweeny cocktail that we did. <laughs> and uh, it really does smell good. I can still smell the party on in it. Um, not, not a bad look either on the luster. There is lots of luster through here. And I believe that was from our bath bomb and also from the gold portion of the Santa Fun. I do have very little bit of the green kind of stuff that was all over the witch's ball. The seasonings that they put all over it. They roll it in shit. So, you know, once they roll it into a ball and put all their dough together, it's got, they roll it in a thing of seasonings. I'm not exactly positive what the green seasoning is that they were using, but it's some sort of seasoning. Herb. Herb. There you go, herb. Uh, those are used from the other side, Europe, call it herbs. Here in the U.S., well, in Staten Island, New York, we call it an herb. <laughs> so I like the way you guys say it better, herb. Because that's the way it's spelled, you know, so... I like the way I like the way you guys pronounce it. All right, guys. So here you go. This was our smash shit Sundays, and we smashed some shit. I really like the way it came out. I really enjoy it. If you had fun and you want to see this again next week, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy what I do or you just enjoy me, hit that thumbs up and let me know. And uh, I will talk to you all again tomorrow. I love you all, be kind to one another, always pay it forward when you can, and you never know if that little smile or opening that door may have just turned that person's life around. So always, always be kind to each other, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night.